Hi everybody, I'm Rob Zip, and today I am in Wonderland, Texas, really, San Antonio. Right across the street from Morgan's Wonderland is Toyota Field, the home of San Antonio Football Club. They are taking on the Feeders Kicks Soccer Club from Dallas. I'm actually wearing their hat right now. This is the second round of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. And uh, I'm going to show you my game experience. Hopefully hang out with some homies in the cro Crocketeers, maybe the 210 Alliance, and show you some of the game action and hopefully talk to some of the players from uh, Defeaters Kick Soccer Club. I've got some, some hats for them. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, come along and join me on this episode of The Most Epic Adventures. All right, we're hanging out in the north end of the stadium. This is, uh, I think, where the supporters watch the matches from. And uh, the Cocketeers are over here under the bridge setting up for their tailgate. And they've invited me to join them. So let's, uh, let's go meet some of these guys and ask them what they think is going to happen today in this uh, Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup match. Hey, Jenica, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm ready for this exciting second round U.S. Open Lamar Hunt. <laughs> the Lamar Hunt US Open U.S. Cup. Open Cup yeah. second round San Antonio Football Club. That's the team yeah. you support. Tell me all about the football club. Hi, well, I'm, I'm Jenica. I am the vice president for the Crocketeers. Uh, we're a supporters group for San Antonio FC. And uh, we come out here before every game. We always throw the best tailgate in Texas. Might the be best, a little bit biased. The best tailgate in Texas. Um, tonight is a little small, but it's also yeah. a Tuesday night. Um, but we, we throw our tailgates, we march into the stadium, and uh, then rally on our club, hopefully to victories. Um, we have a lot of great sponsors who help us make sure our tailgates are always free. Um, April 16th, we're having, we've invited all of the SGs in Texas out to come to the very first Copa Tejas match, uh, San Antonio FC versus El Paso Locomotive FC. Okay, uh, so that's your play. Copa Tejas because the MLS yes. teams have a Copa Tejas Yes, as well. they do. Uh, it actually started with the USL. Okay. Uh, some, actually the, the founders are from San Antonio okay. and it was so, uh, it just did so well that they decided to expand to the MLS and then of course with NWSL for the Supporter Shield is included all, all three all three leagues. Nice. Um, but we have invited uh, the USL and the MLS and the NWS NWSL support groups out for that. Well that's um, nice of you. Yeah. The Dynamo has a double header. Yes. Yeah, the Dynamo and the Dynamo yes. Dose on the 16th. So yeah. unfortunately, I, I don't think anyone I, from Houston will be here. But yeah. most of the other teams either have an away match uh -huh. or they have a Friday night game. So we were hoping we can get a lot of people out here. We'll see. One day, I mean, this is still a really good turnout for a Tuesday. A Tuesday, and it's yeah. it's like a hundred degrees out here in yeah, in in this, April. Over an hour before kickoff time. Yeah, so this is amazing. Yes. this is really good. You got your own shitters out here. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's the that's the best part, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't really have a tailgate without that. So, I mean, this is really cool. You guys have a really good turnout for for a Tuesday night match. We've so, gone through all the pizza. We have lots of snacks. And uh, can you name one hours. player on Defeaters Kick Soccer Club? No, I can't. I'm sorry. There you go. That's it's okay. Hard. That's okay. I can I can name one. I can name one just because he follows okay. my Twitter. But <laughs> that's my that's uh, Miles Bias. Okay. I just gave him a hat. That's why I was standing well, over there. Good luck, but for. not too much. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think the score is going to be? Do you got a prediction? Because this is a this is a professional like yes. like San Antonio FC. These guys are professional soccer players. Yeah. The, I've heard that the feeders' uh, kicks are pretty feisty, though. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to play mostly second string tonight. We're Ooh, in, disrespect. Uh, I. Well, I. <laughs> I'm no, just kidding. No, no, it's we not. have three games this week, yeah. and next uh, Saturday we're playing Orange County um, champions, the reigning champions. Yeah. So, uh, we've got quite a few injuries, so um, just. 
And San Antonio it's went to the Western the chance to get went to the Western Conference field. final against Orange County last year, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so a little bit of a rivalry game yeah. there. So we got to so. be fresh for that. All right. Um, well, I, good. No disrespect for the second strand. I think they're going to do great. Yeah. I think we're still going to win. I think it's going to be a little bit harder, but um, I think we're going to do it. Okay, well, Jenica, thank you for uh, inviting me to your tailgate. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Even though I, ha I do have the opposing team hat okay. with me. We do always <laughs> welcome opposing supporters to our tailgates. See, that's really cool. As long as they're well-behaved, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're friends out here and enemies on the inside. So. Fair enough. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, I'm Damian Dobbs. I am the president for the Crocketeers. We are the main support group for San Antonio Football Club and drinking a great beer from our sponsor called Beer on a Stick. It's a Mexican style lager. I predict San Antonio will win three to one. Come on out. Every home game, the Crocketeers have you. We love soccer. You, got you know, it. it's, it's going to be a great night tonight. Uh, it's going to be an amazing game. I look forward to the competition on both sides of the field, but I know that SAFC is going to take this. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna go hard. Four to one. Four to but one. Either way, it's gonna be a great game. All right. Hello, my name is Gary Landry. I'm the treasurer for the Crocketeers. We're the soccer supporters group here. We're the oldest one in San Antonio. Uh, I'm only hoping for tonight is uh, more inspirational football than we saw Saturday. Uh, I'm looking for a prediction probably three one. So I think we'll do good tonight. Let me see. That's your 2020 Cracketeer scarf, dude. That's really cool. Oh, we got yeah. the dancing skeletons. That's right. Um, and you know what? what the other On the other side, you know we got to turn it up to 11. Oh, dude, that's the most metal scarf I've ever seen. Uh -huh. Dude, I think I found the most metal dude here. That's it. Nice, dude. Yeah. Sweet. And it's all yours, man. What? Yeah, it's all yours. Yeah. Oh, dude. dude. From the Cracketeers to you. Yeah. Th dude, man, you're the best. Fatso with the PH26 on Twitter. It, I'll put it, it right on the bottom, man. Th right. Thank you, dude. Of That's course. awesome. All right, I'm in the stadium. I got my DKSC hat and my Crocketeers uh, <laughs> supporter scarf. So I'm representing both teams today. I am a neutral supporter. My first time here at Toyota Field. Let's take a look. We got, we got 17 minutes till uh, kickoff right here. We got a long line of people. Not, a, not most, most of the uh, concession stands aren't even open because it's a Tuesday. There aren't a whole lot of people here. All right, guys, here we have the little bit of a merch booth here. Um, they had some shirts and some hats. Um, that's it. This is from the Soccer Factory and uh, they have actually a limited supply of stuff. In the corner, you've got the lighthouse, the SAFC flag, and a pirate ship that's all part of Morgan's Wonderland. Uh, that's really cool. Here comes the Crocketeers. I'm in at ADA seating. I didn't realize when I bought the ticket, I just wanted the top row. I didn't realize it was 88, but these are actually cushioned seats. And the seats down there are just these plastic seats. They don't, they don't even have armrests. I, I might have to kill all that because of the audio. But. Anyway, I'm comfortable. I mean, this is my view of the match. So, I mean, I'm gonna be able to see everything on both ends really well so this is pretty cool i'm usually like 
in the end. Like, you know, the Crocketeers are over there. They got their, their drums. Super cool group of uh, people. Very, very nice. Very nice. Here we go. Miles. Your lineup. Only uh, one uh, Peter's Kicks only has one guy with the picture. One guy. My guy. My guy Miles. He has no picture. You can't even click him. There you go. Announcers lead the chance here. That's interesting. So you got uh, San Antonio in all black and the feeders kicks in all white. So pretty, pretty black and white. There you go. Trying some little razzle dazzle. I really think San Antonio is underestimating these dudes. Really think so. Uh, that's good work, man. Good work. Good work. Got some excited kids. That's awesome. UKSC. So we'll see if we can make something happen this time. Oh. Oh, it looks like I was out on San Antonio there. That's Hope you enjoyed this zoomed in. with the free kick here. This is their, their best opportunity so far. Miles, you're offside, buddy. You are standing in an offside position. There you go. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Wrong direction. Send it in. Why not? Screw it. There you go, Crocketeers. There you go. Good goal kick. Ooh. There you go. The first, his first save of the game. DK SC do something here. Clear it out. Getting a little chippy out there, guys. In the 33rd minute, still no score. Getting a little bit chippy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, side netting. They're getting the shots, though. They're getting shots. San Antonio's not really getting shots right now. Shot. 
juggling the ball down. Oh! Whoa! What was that? What was that? He lost his head there for a minute. That was crazy. Oh, that was their best opportunity. Two minutes, two minutes of stoppage time in the first half. It could have been a little bit more. I don't know. It's fair. Oh. Ooh, that should be a corner. Nope. Goal kick. Goal kick for San Antonio. Or for uh, DKSC. I'm really surprised nobody scored yet. All right. That's the half. Nothing to nothing. Getting a little chippy. Getting a little chippy with some of the players. People go crazy for free t-shirts. That guy's got no arm. He needs a t-shirt cannon. He's got no arm. Oh, there we got this guy over here. Come on, guy. He's not reaching up here. He's not reaching up here. Players are ready for the second half. The T-shirt toss got him hype. It's my last T-shirt day. I missed it. That's all right. I'm going to get this corner kick here. Goalkeeper made a good save. Good on him. Number, number zero. S.A. S.A. All right, San Antonio is knocking on the door now. They've got another corner kick. Yeah, I really don't like this announcer. Kids like it though.
didn't even clear out the red smoke from the last goal. So yeah, now it's looking uh, it's looking pretty bad for the feeders. Feeders kick soccer club. It's they're, they're kind of walking around with their hands on their hips. They don't know quite what's going on. San Antonio FC guy is uh, down on the ground. You got all the red smoke coming out there. It's craziness. Pandemonium in San Antonio. San Antonio will score it again. Now this is gonna this is a route. I mean two minutes later. Three goals in like five minutes. Three goals in five minutes for these guys. Oh man. The feeders, they do not. The feeders kicks do not know what to do, man. And this is. Now we're really seeing the uh, different level. The different levels of player here. That's it's kind of sad. But, so. So after they gave up the third goal, they made a couple of substitutions. They just had a shot on goal. The goalkeeper made a really great save. Oh my goodness. It's pretty exciting. I mean, DKSC is down 3-0, but they're trying to fight back. They're trying to fight back. DKSC just pulls one back. They just pulled one back, so now it's three to one at San Antonio. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. They called it. They said it was gonna be three to one, four to one. So let's see if their prediction holds true. Wow. They're back in it. They're still they still got a a mountain to climb, but they're still in it. They're showing life. Fourth goal for San Antonio there. Figures are getting we're getting close too. This game is opening up a little bit. Kickers are not giving up. They're not giving up. I'm calling them kickers. No, the defeaters kick, so I'm calling them kickers. They have bare feet in their logo. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. I gotta ask Juan about that. He's super cool to follow me on Twitter too. It's the president of the club. It's a shame. It's a shame that they're uh, they're falling behind, but I mean, they're not giving up. They're not giving up. They're they're showing some heart. So you gotta appreciate that from these these minnows, these minnows of the cup competition. This is one of the great things you get to see different levels of teams compete against each other that would never, these guys would never play against each other, ever. So this is, you know, some of these guys on, on uh, Defeaters Kick Soccer Club, this is going to be something that they're going to remember for the whole life. This is, this is going to be their biggest game for some of these guys. So, guys getting cramps. He's like, get out, you get him off the field. San Antonio get another run. And the feeders. The feeders. Oh, no, here we go. It's gonna be four. Oh. Bobbled it a little bit. He bobbled it. doing a little bit of just ball control time wasting now we're in the 82nd minute now they're up three to one oh, is it gonna be hard yeah he's like oh whoa 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 he's grabbing him Get a whole, the whole team come on whoa whoa
Got the goalkeeper from San Antonio's out here. What, what is going on? Guys, number 14's kind of losing it there. I think that's the number for the, for the feeder's picks. He's had a, a few issues this game. So, I think he's already got a card, so this could be the second card on him. It's so weird to see everybody in here. I knew it would happen. Somebody would end up getting a red card. There he goes. So the feeders are playing with 10 men for the rest of the match. That sucks, dude. That sucks. A lonely stroll to the locker room. The exhibition is the second yellow card to the feeder sticks player number eight. Yep, it was the second yellow. Yep. And results in the suspension for the rest of the game. Yeah, in the next game, well, whatever, you know. I have to explain that to people. That's interesting. Can't play the next game if they make it either. So it's the 87th minute now. Um, I had a nice couple sitting uh, next to me, Bill and Evelyn from San Antonio, from Universal City, actually. They're uh, taking off a little bit early. The San Antonio FC has got a pretty commanding lead at this point. The 87th minute, they're up three to one. So some people, uh, some people are bouncing, but most of the crowd is still here. You can see it, but not, most people are still getting up. They're still here. So yeah, this is this is this has been fun. I'm glad I came and. Uh, you know, as a somewhat neutral supporter, I got my DKSC hat and my Crocketeers 2020 scarf. So this is this has been great as a neutral fan. I just sometimes you kind of wish the minnow do a little bit better, but entering the match for the games. stoppage time. Three minutes. Okay, corner kick. San Antonio right here. Please. 
San Antonio players going to their uh, car. He's got a, he's got a purse. He's got an actual purse. San Antonio FC players going home, going home after a successful second round of the U.S. Open Cup. Some of the players from the Feeders Kick Soccer Club starting to come out. Looks like they're all coming out as a team. It does not matter. It's bright. It's bright. It's dark out here. So, Miles, so you just played the second round. Your team came up a little short. Um, how do you feel about what transpired tonight? I'm actually, like, you can take all the positives out of the game. I think we did a lot better than a lot of people thought we were. Sure. So, I mean, I feel like we were the better team in the first half. Right. But coming in the second half, the professional team came out sharper, and then 10 minutes would prove what to win the game. Right. Well, hey, man, it was nice to meet you in person. You too, Thanks for being my Twitter bro. No and uh, have a safe trip back to Dallas. Love the hat. Yeah, Thank there you. you go. There you go. You give your dog some pets for me. <laughs> All right. I am going to be leaving Wonderland, Texas. Uh, you, you know, Miles was cool to come on. And after you lose a game, you really don't want to talk to anybody. So I appreciate him uh, giving me his uh, thoughts about the game. I agree with them completely. They, they were a little bit better in the first half. But when you give up three quick goals, it's really hard to climb out from that. Um, they did pull one back but it was a little bit uh, too short. Um, so, they, you, know, you know, like I was saying in the video, some of these players, this is gonna be the biggest stadium they ever play in. It was a great experience. I'm glad I came. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you haven't done so already, slap that like button. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, Friday is the, um, the draw for the third round. So I'm not sure uh, where Houston's going to be playing. Uh, Houston will be playing in the third round. I'm not sure where San Antonio will be going next. Uh, but hopefully I'll, uh, if they're not playing Houston and they're not playing um, the same day as Houston, I might go see them if they're in Austin, if they're, in, if they're here in San Antonio, if they're in Dallas, I might go. Um, great time. Everybody here for from the San Antonio Football Club that I got to talk to was amazing. The fans here were super nice. The players I got to talk to were all cool. So, great experience. I'm glad I came down here. The Lamar Hunt US Open Cup is an amazing competition. Check out if there's a game anywhere near you for the next round. So, with all that being said, thanks for watching. My name is Rob Zip. Remember to drink water, listen to metal, Enjoy nature and have the most epic adventures.